um, very difficult and tricky. Uh, oh, should we do that again? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> now. <laughs> Fifth best, best golf course would be Paris National, where we play the, the French Open every year. It's been one of the most challenging golf courses that we play. Um, I really enjoy the challenge when you stand already on the first tee. You know it's a tough start. There's always water in play. You need to hit all kinds of different tee shots. You know, it, it requires a lot from you and that's, that's what I enjoy. Number four would be St. Andrews. Obviously, you know, great history of golf. I played the Open there a couple of times, so that has been has been in my top five for, for many, many years. Fortunately, I knew when I hit the ball onto the green on 18 that I would win because I was two shots ahead and I had a birdie putt, so it was hard to mess that up. But just to the walk, you know, seeing the first tee, the clubhouse, St. Andrews on the right side, it's, I think it's one of those feelings that are very difficult to explain and it wouldn't do justice if you would try. Um, it's very intimate and very, as a very personal thing, it's been, it's been great. So number three will be Valderrama. Valderrama is very similar to uh, Paris National. It's a golf course that requires everything. Uh, very difficult holes, very tight fairways. Even if you're on the fairway, you still need to maneuver sometimes around trees, small greens, and that's proper golf. You know, winning scores are never really five or six under par. When you shoot four times level par, that should get you into a good position. I played it many times um, as a professional, not so much as an amateur, because it's very exclusive. Um, but every time I go there, I feel like I, I have a chance to win. You know, I, I like that that charm that the golf course presents, you know, uh, those trees, the holes, you know, it just looks very comfortable to me. And I, I had some good success in the past and I think one time in my career, I, I will win there. That's, that's, that's on my list. Number two should be Abu Dhabi Golf Club. Um, I won three times in Abu Dhabi. I've been close many, many other times before, um, and that is probably the golf course that suits my eye the best. You know, the golf holes, I really, really like the way they look, and that combined with the success that I had. I had my first European to win on that golf course in 2008, so all that combined is, yeah. is pretty nice up there. But sometimes you have golf courses where you stand on tee boxes and you really enjoy the look and you know it really suits my 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 shot shape. Um, even the poor shot that I might hit here is still okay. Um, it's just a feel, and you you, you can't really um, you can't really explain it. It's, you know maybe for some other players they just don't like that that golf course, but for me that's one of those that I really enjoy. Number one. It's not my home country, but it's, it has to be Pebble Beach. Pebble Beach for me, you know, obviously I saw it many times on, on TV before when, when Tiger won there by 12 or 15 shots. Um, that was always one of the goals to play there. And then uh, in 2010, I could play the US Open there. So that was, that was so cool. And it's one of those golf courses that I really enjoy every single hole. Um, every 18 holes, you know, is, is nice. And not every hole is on the water, but you know, again, it's, it's a very much of a European feel when you're in that that part of of the world, in that part of California. Um, and then with the with the ocean, you know, has a bit of a Scottish feeling. With with good weather, that golf course just gave me a lot, and it's so much joy to to play there. <laughs>